So mainly you're going to use StoreView desktop software and it allows you to connect, uh, see what's going on, make changes in the controller, and if you have graphics files loaded, you can look at those too. And when you plug in an IP address into StoreView Desktop, you can, uh, you'll plug in the, the master IP address, and there's an address book there too. And if you uh, edit the address book, then it'll be the same address book you can see in RMT. Yep. And we'll talk about RMT in just a few seconds here. So uh, if you want to direct connect to the controller, you're going to use your laptop and you'll use the Ethernet port on your laptop. Um, for the most part, most people will get the IP address out of the controller and then they will um, put a manual IP address in their laptop that's very similar but not the same. Mm -hmm. And that's how they'll direct connect. Um, Used to be you had to have a crossover cable for that, but a lot of laptops have built in a little more flexibility, so you don't necessarily have to have that. But right, if right. you want to be safe, get yourself a, uh, a inexpensive crossover Cat5 or Cat6 cable, and you'll be good to go there. Yep. And then uh, RMT is the other software that we um, want to talk about a little bit, and that's a separate piece, but it's kind of linked to StoreView in a way, and it's used for doing pullbacks and reloads. And um, when you want to connect to a store to do your pullbacks, you have to remember that you'll connect to the master IP unit, you'll pull that one back and save it, and then you'll disconnect, and then you'll have to connect to the next unit connect to its IP address, and then connect to that one, and so on. 